Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. We are going to continue clearing out this house today, and I'm finally going to make my way up into the attic. So this should be a fun episode. I don't think anybody's been up there in probably 50, 60 years, so who knows what's going to be up there. So stay tuned, watch today's episode. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do a little exploration and also continue to clean this house out. Let's go. I found an old photo album in the basement, and I want to show you something. This, whoever was taking this picture was standing exactly where I am right now. I'm in the same exact spot. There's the doorway and the piano is still there, right where it was. But so much has changed since that picture was taken and people have passed and things have moved on and, and yet the, the piano remains the same. Nothing makes you feel uh, less significant in life, like looking at a memory like this and being a, a part of it after the fact. It's just enough to kind of send a chill down your spine standing here. Thankfully for me, James is visiting for a few days and uh, we ate supper and I convinced him and Steven and Jason to all come help me move stuff out of the basement uh, the trunk guessing that's been there a really long time look at the i'm always surprised by the complete different condition of the floor but that trunk's been there for probably 60 years uh we're gonna get some of this stuff loaded upstairs i have to get myself busy packing so that when jason comes back down that uh he'll have something to carry up so if i talk and i don't fill boxes we're gonna fall behind pretty quick it's all the funny little things that you know matchstick holder i don't know why i'm even saving that some of this stuff there's probably no point in hanging on to letter opener i did notice in the last one there was an ink uh, uh space for a, a pen Fancy pen. We've got glasses. And this was probably the base originally to the pen. It's broken off of it. Actually, hang on. Maybe it's not broken off. That would have, there's a pin in there. The pin comes out, it goes through the other side. So maybe it could be reattached and put back together. Hey kiddo, you came just in time. Yeah. Jason is here to save the day. Oh, yeah. Singer template for buttonholing. Um, these little boxes that are on top can go, just hold them from the bottom. Yeah. You go to the beanie baby room? That'll go to the master bedroom, which yeah. we're calling the beanie baby, beanie yeah. baby room right now. It's full of them. It is. The La Crusette pot, that will go. Silver plated platter, that can go. Old Tupperware. Okay. Got a few more things ready to go. Sketchy. Yeah, no, since I actually have uh, friends and help here today, I'm going to open up the attic and just take a peek up there. A part of me thinks it's going to be like a ratatouille situation. <laughs> There's going to be like a million rats with little chef's hat looking at me. Um, let's climb the ladder. See if there's anything up in this attic. I don't know. Oh, this feels sketchy. Oh. 
Well, there's a box up there. Hang on. No, there's boxes up here. There is stuff in the attic. But is this sturdy enough for me to, to stand on? You sound more confident than I am. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm climbing in the attic. Oh, goodness me. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. Finally, I found an attic that has stuff in it. But is there anything in the boxes is a question. Uh, hey guys, you okay for a sec? Mm, that doesn't feel super safe, what my foot's on. It's a little janky. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna park my butt. Surprisingly, oh, there's books. Hey James, yeah. can I hand you guys stuff to take down? There's antique books up here. The corner house girls. School days in Disneyville. There's all kinds of stuff up here. Okay, I'm gonna start handing you stuff down the uh, trap door if I can. It is completely pitch black up here. Unless I have the light on. There's even stuff over by the chimney. And I'm, I'm trying to be very careful where I'm standing. Like a lot of this. These are the 1929. These are uh, the doctor's notes from medical school. He graduated in 34, we found. Oh, barely fit this down. Okay, ready? Okay, it's heavy. You got it? What is this? I mean, I will have to go through some of this stuff on the ground, but who knows what's in all this stuff? Oh, can you get it? I do both. It'll be like Books. Oh. What a big box of books. This one's gonna be a little bit heavier. Notes. Empty notebooks. Okay, I need both hands for this. Stand, broken dolls. No bags of jewelry. This, I don't know what that is. That's the padding off of that doctor's table that's out in the garage. But again, I don't know if that thing has any value. Hey, Steven. Yeah. May I hand you a weird mat thing? It's padding off of an old doctor's bench, and the, the bench for it's actually in the garage. Okay, huh. I think that about clears out the attic space. I'm gonna try and get down now. I'm gonna check kind of in the sawdust, make sure that, you know, there wasn't a, this would be a great spot to hide like a little bag of gold or something. Not that, you know, this isn't interesting enough, Oh, hang on. Those are boxes. Oh, I'm just going to see if I can reach this. Oh, it's, it's empty. Thank goodness. Okay. And when was this stuff put up here? You get a sense of it from the newspaper. If we can get the date off the top. Boy, it's just disintegrating. I don't know if I can get the date off the top of the paper. But maybe this ad will give us an idea. 
let's see, what does the dining room set look like? Kind of 50s-ish maybe? Well, I'm gonna guess this stuff's been up here. Well, actually looking through the stuff itself should tell me. Uh, I'm gonna try and lower myself down now. Whew. Well, I think this might actually mark the first time I found something in an attic. Usually they're empty. Usually they're full of promise and full of disappointment. So all of this just came out of the attic. Um, and so now we're kind of looking to see exactly what we have here. Like these look like really old ledgers or day books. Something new for eczema. Yeah, this is the doctor's, uh, when he was, uh, I guess a doctor in Edgerton, Alberta, house call. So he was a country doctor that did house calls. And these are all the, this is the money owing from customers. Let's see, services, 45 bucks, 1935. That's some old, old stuff there. I wonder if the uh, town of Edgerton Museum, mind you, be, hey, look, grandpa had rickets. <laughs> Who knew? We're gonna find out worse things. Oh, there's actually, I think, a picture in here. Hang on, Stephen, do you have your gloves on still? Yeah, no, but I can still do the thing. Okay, hang on. Let's just move some of this stuff out of the way. Merchant's Statement Tablet. It's got a steamship. Looks like the Titanic on the front. You know things have been down here, or up there a while. You gonna grab some gloves? Okay. I was gonna let him dig. Oh, there's a map. If this is from a service station, yeah, it is from Shell. That's probably like a $20 map. Ridiculous that we're going through all this stuff and an old road map is what's worth money. Are there pictures? Yeah. Family pictures. Nobody's seen these in a while. Well, that's going way back. Horse and buggy era. Honorable A.B. Aylesworth. I've seen that name on some of the... Uh, some of the cases and boxes. So this Aylesworth family must have been quite well to do at one point. His, so the Honorable Aylesworth be, became a doctor. It's, it'll tell us a story of who this family was. It looks like when you, know, you walk into a very typical sort of house and find out that they might have come from a well-to-do sort of background. Politicians, perhaps, doctors. So we'll make sure to keep all these pictures aside. I wonder where they are. Queen Victoria, 1895. Monuments and stuff. Photo miniature. Okay, some neat stuff. Lost memories. Oh, here's a newspaper. Let's see. Let's get an idea of what age this is from. The Gateway, 1934. Graduation Ball, Climax of Convocation Week. Well, there's a wordy title. Eminent Canadian to speak. John Defoe. That's pretty neat. That's, this is a University of Alberta paper, Stephen. You're gonna be going to U of A. Yeah. That's cool. Everything that's up there is just so much older. Hey, those have uh, those look like tap dancing shoes. They've got like the metal on them for tap. A tick 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 two. Yeah, somebody did tap dancing. Oh, and there's the ballet. Remember, she was a ballerina at one point. There's the ballet slippers. And that is, uh, that's proper crunch your toes up. 
different happier times and there's some sort of frock colorful looking dress or something in there well the attic is proving to be quite interesting dresses with oh it's about it's the it's the ballet dress when she was a little girl that's her ballet outfit with the uh the dress and the slippers and the whole thing Uh, James has come back to help me uh, since yesterday. Thank you for that, James. And um, we are going through some of the boxes that we found in the attic, and we see some drawings up here. And it looks like she was struggling figuring out the nose. She's like, well, that doesn't look like a... How do I do a darn nose? And so they were working on their drawings. And there's uh, some that are, you know, kind of rudimentary, and then some that were actually kind of interesting, you know, and and... I don't know, it was just uh, kind of cool going through this stuff and seeing, you know, the progression of their art. All these little things that have probably been in here for ages and ages. Oh, and of the time, that looks like at least somebody with a Hitler-y mustache. I mean, this was during the Second World War. Mind you, that was also a good comedy mustache for many years. You put a bowler hat on and Hitler would have seemed downright amusing. From, from his looks. Okay, where are we going? Lots of drawings, lots of stuff. And we have more of these samples, but these are empty, thankfully. But it's kinda neat that this stuff has been Dash in that attic for all those years, all these old, like, I guess these are, you know, receipts from 1924? Maybe it was 1941, because the two is kind of, it looks like they wrote a 41. Yeah, so 1941. They're just using really old paperwork. There's old player cigarette container. I wonder if it's still, no, oh, it's got dried flowers inside of it. Finding a few interesting things. Found a whole uh, scribbler full of artwork in here. Somebody's little notebook from back in the 30s or 40s, and it's got all sorts of drawings in it. Uh, but the mission here is to fill the dumpster before the end of the day, so we better get cracking on that. This box seemed really light, and that's because it's got like a 1920s looking Santa Claus truck with Santa and all the decoration really fantastic shape for being such an old ornament and uh surprisingly it didn't get broken up there so let's not be the ones to break it we'll set that aside in our uh cell pile and we'll keep making this pile hopefully smaller by the end of the day these attic boxes are proving to be kind of interesting like this uh cut glass fruit bowl it's got um, fruit sort of uh, carved or cut into the glass. It has this gold um, inlay or silver inlay trim and a silver edge on it. It's actually quite a nice piece. So that will go in our in our cell pile. Make sure there wasn't anything else in this box. Put an old towel. Okay, well that can go. Why am I not keeping the box for the glass, you might ask? Because it's disgusting and it's gross. And I don't want to have that uh, carry its filth into the rest of the stuff. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, another attic box. Funky little hat. Looks almost like a flat cap, but not quite. And what else is in here? Can. A little piece of somebody's wedding cake. And there's still little boxes wrapped up with tiny little baby shoes. So definitely a keepsake box that ended up in the attic. So what else was considered a keepsake? Well, we've got some uh, little bits of jewelry here. Sort of a little carved necklace, some compacts. Set that aside. What do we have here? You want to open that one up, James? While James is getting that ready, I'm going to peek and see. 
with a very old wallet for chiropractors. Home with a green apple pie. There. You want to open it up? I'm looking to see what's in the wallet. A ticket from Edmonton to Vancouver. Yeah, correspondence. Okay, a bunch of letters. Oh, and wartime. There's war pins in there, so that might be from the Second World War. Those might be letters from the front. Yeah. Date of 1939, yep. So those those could be keepsakes from the uh, front line. It's a, the doctor that they were related to served as well. And there's a box of stuff. Marked University of Alberta. There's all sorts of things in here. There's a ring. Oh, cool. Hey, good find. A little promise ring. Trailer, little. We've got buttons, pin backs. Sometimes these boxes look like little kid boxes where they're, you know, like chunks of crayon and stuff. Um, this is still wrapped in its paper from brand new. Let's be the one to open it up. I'm guessing box of chocolates maybe? We'll find out. Okay, it was not chocolates, although it does say Lanteen Brown. Cap, diaphragm, and jelly. So is this really early hair dye maybe? Supplementary to physician's instructions. No idea. Lantine blue jelly tests eight times higher in antiseptic strength. Oh, I see. It's like an antiseptic. And it's still in here. There's the tube of it right there. I feel like we need that little sardine can roller on modern toothpaste. That'd come in handy. Well, the top bottle is cool. I mean, there's just so many little things in here. Fancy buckle. Rock specimens, stamps. This is one of those little bins you kind of want to go through. Make sure you don't miss anything. What a very interesting and well-weathered leather case that that's been up in that attic for decades. And inside, we've got a couple fancy ladies hats. There's a nice summer sort of hat with the netting. And we have this wider brim hat. And it's the Lady Biltmore Aristocrat. A couple of nice vintage hats. We'll set those aside with the fancy dresses and shoes we found and then of course, more paperwork, old, old letters and things. 1942, that's what year this stuff is from. Found some interesting things. One, we know that the lady that lived here at one point took ballet, and look, there's a program from the National Ballet of Canada. So obviously it was very serious about it one time. They, I don't know if she was in it. Perhaps, you never know. Found these old calendars from a pharmaceutical company, Frost Pharmaceuticals. Dingbat Confidence. And then you got a couple others, 1938. And it looks like they used them right until the January. There's another one there. It has these odd um, little characters that they came up with. They look almost like insect people or something. But uh, neat nonetheless, you can let that go, James. We will save that. There are collectors of anything advertising, including stuff like that. So lots of neat stuff out of that attic. Um, more mess for me, but, you know, more treasures to be had. That's always good. Well, this is the fun part, James. we got to go to the garage and start hauling trash. You ready for that? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, the auction company is here to pick up the furniture that we felt we could save. Um, I'm gonna take this 
back on my own because it's full of stuff and I gotta go through it. Um, the last big thing up is this piano, which hopefully we can get out of here without much effort. But look, I was getting the piano moved out of the way and there's an actual, like a cartoon mouse hole in the wall, like a Tom and Jerry mouse hole. You know you have a mouse problem when they're willing to burrow their way through solid wood. Uh, and I guess I should check the inside of the piano before it goes too, because sometimes things drop in there. Now let's see, last uh, service, 1966, it was tuned. That's a few years. Okay. Well, I think she's pretty much ready to go. So that's it of this episode. We explored the garage, we explored the attic, found all kinds of cool stuff up there. And all the furniture that we've moved from other parts of the house are more or less cleared out other than that lamp, which we're keeping there um, so that uh, the timer keeps going on and off. The chest, that'll be loaded up on another day. And um, as for me, I've been sweeping out the rooms, we have a little bit left in this room, just a tiny bit that came out of that attic that was keeper stuff. But the majority of this, the stuff that's sellable is right here. So after all of that, basically, if you imagine this house was like going through a filtration system, garbage, 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 garbage. And this is the pile of good stuff that came out of it. This entire household worth of stuff just comes down to one bedroom, one truckload worth of stuff. Um, really, truly makes me reevaluate. Every time I do a house clear out like this, I reevaluate what I need in my own life because I know that probably a good percentage of it probably is not worth saving or hanging on to. Um, so I declutter at my own personal house a whole lot. And I guess it's kind of nice to declutter around somebody else's house too. Um, wipe the kitchen cabinet down so it's actually somewhat clean on top there. I wouldn't eat off of it, but it, uh, I did bleach it and clean it. So uh, lots of progress to be made. I can feel the end approaching on this uh, episode. And we are at a stage where I think very soon next, I'll be coming with the trailer and just loading up all of our stuff. Um, or I might just take the truck and start hauling stuff over to auction uh, one little batch at a time. Either way, it's gonna start to go. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. House is clearing out. I think this was a good episode, lots of fun exploration. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because I do house clear outs and I do estate purchases pretty often. And we're always looking for treasures. And uh, we're still not done with this house. We've got to get it completely finished up and that episode will be coming soon. But guys, this was a good one. I'm gonna call it a night. We'll see y'all soon and as always, bye for now.